Are you someone that wants to start taking professional looking photos and videos underwater but aren't willing to spend an absurd amount of money just to do so? Not to mention the amount of gear you will have to lug around just to make that possible. Well, you're in luck because with Hot Dive's H2 Pro underwater housing, you're now able to use your mobile phone to do that and more. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing to show some support and for more of such videos in the future. Hey guys, what's up? My name is Bernard and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll be reviewing Hot Dive's underwater auto vacuum smartphone housing, the H2 Pro, and this thing packs quite a number of features. Just a disclaimer, Hot Dive did send me this product, but I am not obligated to like it. My thoughts will not be influenced in any way, and with the disclaimer out of the way, let's test it out. The first thing I absolutely love about this product is that it is universal. You are able to use any phone within the size of 168 times 84 times 10 mm. That means that this product is future-proof and you're most likely still able to use it even when you change your phone in the future. Okay, so the obvious benefit of being able to bring your phone into the water is to capture photos and videos. So let's talk about how it performs in that regards. You will have to operate your camera through Hot Dive's app and I would say that it is decent and gets the job done. One of the benefits of using their app is that you can gain more control over your camera settings like manual exposure and white balance. It is pretty cool that they allow you to do that and that is a feature you usually have to pay for on other apps. One thing that is unfortunate is that you won't be able to change your video frame rate in the middle of a dive. You have to pre-select it in your camera settings just like the iPhone's default camera app. However, you are still able to select your resolution settings through the app which is much more important to me. The next feature I want to talk about is something I find truly amazing and it is the built-in dive computer. Of course, this is found only on the Pro model and it costs an additional $50 USD and it's well worth it in my opinion. A traditional dive comp can cost between $300 to $1,000. So by buying this housing, you're essentially getting a free dive comp. On top of that, it even has an underwater compass which my dive comp doesn't even have. Since we're on the topic of price, let me tell you how much this dive comp would cost. The Pro model you see here is 349 USD and the regular one is 299 USD. You also have the option to add on lenses, but unfortunately, I don't have them with me to try out. If you take into consideration of how much you have to spend on a camera, an underwater housing for it, and a dive comp, you're looking at spending over $10,000. This phone housing is starting to look like a pretty good deal, doesn't it? But that's not all. I still have more features to go through with you. The next feature I want to talk about is the built-in automatic vacuum pump system and I'm really impressed with it. My expensive underwater housing also has a vacuum pump system, but the word to describe that is primitive. For the H2 Pro, all you have to do is hold a button and the housing pumps the air out automatically. The best part is that the housing stays vacuum sealed even during the dive, which the same can't be said for my $1,000 housing. The benefit of it is that you can be sure there won't be a leakage and that your housing won't fog up in the middle of a dive. The other thing this housing comes with is a built-in light. This light is decently bright and can last for 100 minutes thanks to its built-in 3500 mAh lithium battery. If used for only photography or other functions, this battery can last you for up to 20 days. The last thing this housing has is a tripod mount on the bottom. That means you're able to attach a camera tray to the underwater housing for a better handling experience. Now that we have discussed the features, I want to talk about the specifications. One thing that you'll notice is that this underwater housing is rather bulky for a phone case. But that is the price to pay for having a case that is universal and to have that many features packed into it. In my opinion, it is an acceptable trade-off. The weight of this housing is 1.2 kg and it is not exactly lightweight but I believe it is due to all its features and because of its good construction build. This housing feels like a tank and it has a depth rating of an impressive 80 meters. For your reference, my camera housing only has a rating of 40 meters. Also, the good news is that this housing is not buoyant, and this is a good thing because anyone who has ever tried to bring a housing into the water knows the struggle of trying to keep it down. I want to add that this housing feels very ergonomic in the hands, and it is very convenient to trigger the shutter and press the buttons. So I've covered a whole list of things that I like about this housing. What about my dislikes? Let's cover that now. One downside to me is that with the Hot Dive app, you are not able to record with the iPhone's wide angle or slow motion capabilities at the point of making this video. 
They did tell me that this is something under review and it might be a possibility in the future. This is not a total deal breaker to me, but it is something you might want to note. Another thing is that your phone cannot be in lock mode when not in use. Your screen light does turn off after a while, but that's pretty much it. This might be a concern for people who are conscious about conserving their phone battery. Originally, I was more concerned about my phone overheating, being in a case and switched on for extended periods of time, but after my experience with it, I don't think it'll be a huge problem. The third thing I want to discuss is not exactly a downside, but more of something that you should be clear about. This is an underwater housing to utilize the phone camera and dive com features. It is not exactly a regular waterproof case for your phone. What I mean by this is that you will not have control to other aspects of your phone apart from the hot dive app. This reason is why I don't foresee myself using this case in regular water activities like kayaking or going to the beach. I'm more likely to bring it along but take it out only when I want to take nice photos and videos near or in the water. My last point, which also isn't exactly a downside but more of a suggestion for improvement. As someone who might still want to bring his camera underwater housing along dive trips, I wish there was a better way to carry this apart from letting it dangle off my wrist with a lanyard. It would be great if something could be designed so as to allow you to mount the housing to your forearm when not in use. In that position, it is also more ergonomic to check the details on the dive com. To conclude, overall, this is a very value for money underwater housing for your phone. It was designed to help make underwater videography and photography convenient and affordable for your dive trips. It also replaces the need for a dive com. In that regards, it does its job very well and I don't have any big complaints about it. Just take note that it is not exactly meant for casual water activities. If you guys are interested in this product, do check it out via the link in the description. By the way, it is not an affiliated link. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. That's it for today, it's a wrap!